One thing I can say to you, it's not easy writing out your grief, but you do want to get it off your chest. You don't want to walk around with the hurt and the pain that you feel because of what happened to you, okay? Um, my best advice is once you have it off your chest, um, you feel like a, a halfway of a better person, okay? Um, you know, uh, I'm glad that the, where I got in a car accident at, I am happy and I am glad that um, they have um, put a parking lot at the store where to ask if anyone comes to the store, they cannot park on the street. They have to park in a parking lot. Okay. Um, but then you have the grief of the person who won the case. And what's supposed to happen, it hasn't happened yet. So how long does it take for it to happen? Okay. So I am writing up my grief from the Richmond Coliseum accident. So then I am writing up my grief from the car accident. So then a little bit of time later. Okay. So I don't want everybody to understand. A little bit of time later. I was um, around the curve of uh North Avenue. I don't know if that street is called North Avenue or not. But before the bridge. It's like North Avenue, then you turn left and then there is a bridge. But before the bridge I was getting off work and uh, some man was on a high speed chase. He didn't hit the car because he uh pulled the car over in time, but he was on a high speed chase with the police, I had got back flashes. I, um, oh, it's like a range of things, of things that had happened. And, um, uh, I just feel kind of way. Okay? So I just went from the original Coliseum accident to a car accident to a high speed chase. So now, these people are saying, I can't have my dog. You know? But then everybody that lives in the complex has a problem. Would you like for me to explain to you what the problem is? The problem is that they are making a copy of our debit cards. And they want the receipt. And they are making an account. Um, for my social security or whatever bank it is that they're using. I don't know what exactly they are doing. Okay. And it makes me feel the kind of way to have all these orangutan of things keep happening. Okay. So it's not really easy uh, getting off your grief. And you have to do each grief thing one thing at a time so it's like so it's like a maybe like 50 sheets of papers going into Mr. Allen's office and they're one thing at a time I just can do one thing at a time so he, he may have gotten two sheets of papers two grievance letters but there's like 15 more letters that I have to write. Okay, so, uh, I am trying to take my time with it. Okay, and, and it's just like, don't be on a high speed chase with the police. You do not know who you could jeopardize and hurt because of the situation. Okay. Stop doing high speed chases. Alright? Did you not hear everything I just said in this message? Did go along with a high speed chase. 
Okay, I would just need to have a lawyer with me at all times. Basically, I would just need to have a lawyer with me at all times. I like I like I can't move without the lawyer. Basically, because that's how I'm feeling. When I go to the doctor, I will have to go with the lawyer. When I go to to everywhere, I will have to have a lawyer. I just think that it's crazy that I'm a person. They just will have to do, I will have to just be with a lawyer. And everything that he does or she does for a person. I would just need to have one. You know, it's crazy. For you to feel like in every situation of your life, you would just have to have a lawyer. Jeez. Like, it ain't nothing more that I can do with my life. That every day of my life, I have to have a lawyer with me. Because I'm thinking that's what the White House is thinking. Like, she would just need to have a lawyer. With everything that she does. I mean, in everything that I do, I would have to have a lawyer. Yeah, I gotta walk down the street and I gotta have a lawyer. I just can't live a normal life because I'm just going to have to have a lawyer. Like my gracious. My children would just have to have a lawyer. I feel sorry for the lady if she went into a law firm saying that she was going to get some money out of me. And I don't want a case. Because then how does she feel? Are you my boy? Who is your boy? They can't even proceed because I won the case. 